Hello, today is Friday, praise God. Now, every Friday, now that's why we don't do broadcasts on Saturdays and Sundays. Every Friday, look, you know what to do? Sit down, go through all the words for the week, go through all the broadcasts for the week. You know, sit down with it and ask yourself a question. Do I believe this? Now, if you don't believe it, What's your basis of not believing it? The only basis I will not believe something a preacher have said is if the Holy Spirit have told me something else. See, I won't just listen to a preacher and say, ah, I don't believe this. I don't, ah, I don't believe this. I don't. On what basis? When you act that way, you should, should change yourself. See, you're cheating yourself. Because, see, no matter how close you are to the Holy Spirit, He will not tell you everything I'm telling you the truth he won't tell you everything because you see the way he made us is that we cannot we cannot depend on ourselves alone we need him as much as we need one another so your words can spark off an inquiry in my heart see so what do I do with that inquiry I go to him I say Lord did, did you tell this person this thing because I've never heard it before and he will confirm to me say oh yeah I, I, I taught him that. Oh, really? But you never taught me. That's why you're learning it now. Okay, thank you, sir. So, so what do I do with it? And he begins to teach me. And then guess what? By the time he's done teaching me, I realize that that person maybe just knew just 10% of that thing. That's how it is. <clears throat> so don't sit down and say, I don't believe what this person is. It's, it's, it's making it look so easy. But I don't think it's this easy. Go to the Lord. Go to the Lord. I'm bringing awareness to you. That's what the Bible also does to us. You read things in the Bible. What do you do with it? It's not to read things in the Bible and say, I confess it, I declare it, I confess it in Jesus' name. No, no, no. it might not work that way. See, you see something in the Word and then you say, Lord, did you really say this? Because I'm going to believe it right now. So tell me if this is translator's error or, or someone just put this in there. I want to know. Did you say this? And then you go. I don't always ask this question. How many of you have taken a fast before God? One day, two days, three days fast. Whatever. How many days? Because you didn't understand something you read in scriptures. So I only fast when I need a job, I need a husband, I need a wife or whatever. Hey, no. Daniel fasted 21 days. You know why? He read something in the scripture and then he said, Lord, I need some explanation. And then he began to wait for the Lord. He waited 21 days for the answer to come. He, it was that serious to him. Now that's how you should take the word of God serious this year. Listen, oh. I told you something yesterday. You don't need any man's help. But you know what? God will always send men to you. I need to understand the two things I've just said. I said, you don't need any man's help. That's on one side. On the other side, God will always send men to you. So now, <clears throat> so what do I mean? God will send men to you. But when he does, you must know this, that your trust is in him, not in the men. So if God sends a man to you and the man comes to you and says, you know what? I know God sent me to you, but I don't think I'm willing to help you. Thank you, sir. Don't go, ah, this one that God sent to me, ah, whatever, whatever evil spirit that is in me, that is making this man. No, 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 no. Say, thank you, sir, for obeying so far. God will take care of me. And then you turn, of course, I'm not talking when your attitude is bad. And the person, because of your bad attitude, then repent, change. See, I'm talking to someone. You know, God can send someone to build you a house. And the person comes and says, God told me to build you a house, but Kai, I think it's too much. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How to, I, at least I don't know. But I, I don't I keep having dreams of God telling me to build you a house. Tell him, no problem, sir. Take your time. But when you say take your time, you know what to do? You go before the Lord and say, Lord, it's like this vessel is not willing. But I'm looking up to you. So don't go say, sir, please now. How can God send you to build house to me? And I say, you don't want to build. Please, sir. What do you want me to do? Please, don't do that. 
Don't do that. If God sends people to you, receive them by faith. The same faith that God used to command them is the same faith that you will receive them. If they do it to you, they are not doing it to you. They are doing it because they are obeying God. And when they are done doing it to you, it's not you that will reward them. It is the Lord whom they have obeyed that will reward them. The best you can do for them is being thankful and be keeping the right attitude towards God, giving glory to God and showing men love because that's love that God has demonstrated to you. It's not going to be licking their, their boots. No, 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 no. no. See, so that's why I said you don't need any man, but God will always send men to you. So look out for the people God will send to you this year. And, and next week, I'm going to be talking to, to you about something very, very important in this regard. And guess what? Tomorrow, Saturday, we are having a program. Now, if, if you can come for that meeting, I'll really, really like to see you. It's in the city of Abuja at the Zoe's Paradise Hotel. Now, tomorrow is the 25th of January. So we are having a special meeting. I want to see you there. It's, it's very special. I won't tell you why, but it's a very special meeting. Praise God. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. And, and I pray that the Spirit of this is by 5 p.m. 5 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday. And I'll I'm looking forward to seeing you and next week, Saturday and Sunday. We are going to be having our monthly program, Sound the Alarm. So prepare for all these meetings. Praise God. Write it down in your diary. I'll be looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you. Have the best weekend ever. You know why? There is nothing you need that is not inside you already. So you know what to do? Look inwards. Bring it out and manifest it. God bless you. Bye-bye.